Hi everyone, in this video we'll do a comparison between several Linux encrypted file systems and the target is this one, so a single SSD disk with a cable with USB-C. Uh, so there are many ways to do this test on Linux. I picked the easiest one, so I will copy this file on several different directories. So this is the setup. Um, we have an SSD disk with uh, three Lux encrypted volumes and inside each volume we have XT4 then we have BTRFS and then we have ZFS and then we have non-encrypted partitions we have XT4, BTRFS and ZFS the project that we will use are also GoCryptFS which isn't a file system but it's an overlay which allow to encrypt your directories and the content of the directory could also be moved on a cloud provider and it will see the encrypted files. So it's an interesting use case for this setup. Then we have ZFS on Linux which is now available also in Ubuntu Linux 2004 and these are the official setup if you want to, to follow. And then we have a script setup with the Lux encrypted file system. So the test is very simple, I just copied this file on the external disk. So here are the tests. Uh, we have uh, the test with uh, a simple partition with uh, fscript and uh, gocryptfs overlays and uh, then we have uh, the tests with uh, the lux volume with uh, btrfs, xt4 and uh, zfs. So let's see the copy test one by one and then the recap. So let's start with the uh, um, simple uh, partition and btrfs this is the situation so on a simple partition we have 336 megabytes per second and this is the cpu consumption then on xt4 on a simple partition we have 353 and this is the cpu consumption then we have a simple XT4 partition with fscript enabled. In this case we have 351 megabyte per second. And this is a very good result because it's almost the same of XT4 without encryption. And this is the CPU chart. So it consumes a little bit more CPU. Then we have XT4 with GoCrypt FS. In this situation we have 195 megabytes per second. And this is the CPU chart. It uses all the cores but it doesn't go above 50% of CPU. And then we have ZFS, normal ZFS partition and we have uh, 222 megabytes per second and uh, this is the CPU usage chart. It also uses more RAM memory. And then uh, we have uh, ZFS with uh, native encryption and uh, in this case uh, we have uh, 90 megabytes per second but uh, the CPU usage is very high, so it's almost 100%. So beware if you want to use this kind of encryption. And now we see the comparison benchmark with LuxFS with Lux. And these are the results. So Lux plus BTRFS. So BTRFS inside a Lux volume. We have 314 megabyte per second 
and uh, this is uh, the CPU consumption. Then uh, we have uh, uh, Lux with inside uh, XT4 and uh, this is uh, 331 megabyte per second and this is the consumption chart and then we have Lux with inside ZFS 210 megabyte per second and this is the CPU consumption so uh, recap if we use the file systems without encryption the fastest in the copy test is XT4, but BTRFS isn't so bad anyway. And then we have ZFS. ZFS with encryption doesn't perform very well in this test. If you want to use ZFS with encryption, uh, Lux with ZFS seems a more performant uh, way to use uh, ZFS uh, encrypted. XT4 with uh, FS Crypt perform uh, very well, but uh, it isn't uh, very integrated uh, with uh, the Linux installers. Then we have uh, XT4 with uh, GoCrypt FS, which doesn't perform uh, very well compared to other uh, encryption methods, but it works uh, in the cloud. <laughs> And then we have uh, Lux with XT4 and BTRFS. It adds a little bit of uh, CPU penalty, but for uh, BTRFS, it's uh, the best way to encrypt uh, this uh, file system. And uh, Lux is also good for uh, ZFS because uh, currently perform better than uh, ZFS uh, native encryption, but are two very different uh, methods to do the encryption. Conclusion, this is a small recap based on the use cases. If you want to encrypt your installed softwares and your user data, probably Lux is still the best way to do it. But it doesn't work on Dropbox or other cloud system to do backups. You could set up a remote server with Lux encryption, but it isn't very convenient. GoCryptFS works for the user data and it also works on cloud providers, but it has lower bright performance. ZFS native encryption works for user data and it could also work for cloud or remote services but those services should support ZFS file system. So you give them raw data without the encryption key. But the best local performances are with Lux encryption. So it doesn't work in the cloud. And then we have FS script, which is mainly for user data. And currently, I don't know if it could be used for all the system encryption and for cloud data. So that's it. Leave me a like if you found this video useful and leave me in the comment which Linux encrypted file system you use. So bye, see you.